While Cornell Medicine stands for excellence, excellence across our mission areas, to care, to discover, to teach. We're transforming patient care, but we are also transforming the student experience. Our students are what brings Wild Cornell Medicine into the future. We really want our community to be one where learners from around the world come here, work together collaboratively, collegially, in a great environment. We're extending the vibrant and inviting community that we have at Wild Cornell Medicine already up to 74th and York. In 2025, we look forward to opening a world-class student residence. It is about engaging them, it is about their wellness, and it is about ensuring that they are the most future-ready physicians that we can possibly have. This building is really a fundamental part of We're Changing Medicine. The new 74th Street Student Residence will be approximately 173,000 square feet, a little more than 225 feet high. 16 floors of living space. 163 studios, seven one-bedroom, and 51 two-bedroom apartments. It really goes beyond the idea of a conventional dormitory into a new realm, which is really why we call it a student residence. Dormitory is something that we think about for undergraduates. And a residence hall really reflects who our students are. What sets this building apart from other residential buildings is that it has an extensive amount of outdoor space. The highlights to me are the rooftop terrace as well as the outdoor garden. One of the core design features was thinking about student well-being and student community. Really important to us when we were in medical school were fitness facilities. So this new residence is going to have state-of-the-art gym, space for basketball and other team sports. There's gonna be a yoga and dance studio and even music rooms, so really amenity filled. In a conventional lobby, you're really just passing through it. We wanted a space that you really felt that you could stay in and really feel comfortable in. So it has very warm finishes, it's very inviting, great lighting, comfortable furniture, a lot of technology. It becomes a space where students can work together, study together, socialize together. It will also be fossil fuel free and completely electric. So it is a very highly energy efficient and eco-friendly building. So I think if you say what's different, everything's different. The project first came to Capital Planning and to me in 2017. We immediately were excited about the project and the opportunity to build a new student residence and the criteria were actually fairly difficult. The site had to be of a particular size to accommodate enough of the students, to accommodate modern amenities, and ideally it had to be as close to the main campus as possible. When we went block by block, we started right at campus, circled out two blocks away, three blocks away, five blocks away, what can we find? There's an idea of both connecting within the building, among the students, and through all these shared spaces, but also visually back to the heart of the campus so it really feels like it belongs and, and helps complete the campus in a lot of ways. Students have been involved in every step of the process and we are so grateful for this opportunity. And we really see this as a collaborative uh, project in which we hope that future students will really benefit from. The student feedback was often about what their daily lives were like. So what was important here was creating a residence that actually met those needs. The only way a project ambitious as this is, is possible, is through the generosity of philanthropists and our donor community. We could not be doing the student residence without the leadership of our co-chairs, Jeffrey File and Sandy Weil. What they have done to make this happen is nothing short of extraordinary and it will make a difference today and well into the future. I think it really helps with the physical and mental well-being for students, and so I think those amenities will really come a long way to making this new student residence home. That's gonna translate into better scientists, better doctors, and who's gonna benefit from that? The students are for sure, but all of us are. The faculty, the staff, and maybe most importantly, their future patients. Any student who is passionate about patient care or cutting edge discovery, they can do more than dare to dream about a career in academic medicine. They can make it their reality now. I think if we do the best possible job with our students, then we really are changing medicine.